Jersey. Well, with gasoline prices continuing to rise, many are looking at alternatives like hybrids or electric cars. But there is a third fuel option rapidly gaining in popularity. And as Don Daly reports, it's all American. This may look like a regular Honda Civic, but it's running on a fuel that costs half as much as gasoline and puts out a fraction of the air pollutants. Compressed natural gas, or CNG. Right now, the technology exists with the CNG car to get a more fuel-efficient vehicle and a cleaner vehicle with an abundant supply of fuel right here in the USA. Honda is currently the only major car maker producing new CNG vehicles for the general public in the U.S. It's doubling production this year due to demand, and other car makers are expected to roll CNG cars out within a year. The benefits of CNG vehicles are much cheaper fuel that causes less damage to the engine, which lowers maintenance costs, extremely low emissions, and a variety of proposed and existing tax credits. The cons, the CNG Honda costs about five grand more than the regular one. Filling stations are hard to find, only about a dozen in the New York area. You won't get quite the range of a gasoline car between 200 and 250 miles, and the compressed gas tank takes up part of the trunk space. Right now, CNG cars have to use special fueling stations that fleets use, but as their popularity increases, natural gas pumps will start to appear at gasoline stations and convenience stores. If you don't live close to a fueling station, you can have a fueling center like this put in your house if you have natural gas going into your house. But whereas filling your car to station takes a few minutes, using a home system takes about eight hours because the gas is a lot less pressurized. More and more companies and governments are converting their fleets to natural gas. The fuel savings for converting this school bus will pay for the $50,000 conversion within 18 months. Converting your car is probably still too expensive to make sense, about $15,000. But Michael Masseri of Clean Vehicle Solutions in East Brunswick, New Jersey, says that will change when demand increases. Once enough stations are up, then just anybody can go out and have their car converted. So in the short term, it may make more sense to look at the CNG cars rolling out over the next few years that are already running on the all-American fuel. There are bills before Congress which would give federal tax credits for natural gas vehicles, and President Obama has made them a major focus of his energy policy. Maurice, Christine. Don, thank you. All right.